All right, so I have another cruising question for everybody out there. Last time we talked about formal nights. Should you dress up or should you not dress up? Well, tonight I want to talk about the buffet. Specifically, should it be self-serve or should it be served by the crew? And we'll get into it right after this. Chris here with High Seas Cruising and welcome to today's video. All right, the buffet. Now we know pre-pandemic, the buffet was simple. You went up, got your food, you served it to yourself, put it on your plate and off you went and ate. Well, then the pandemic hits and the majority of the cruise lines, all of them except for one that I'm aware of, went to the crew serving the buffet. The exception being Carnival Cruise Lines, which is doing a self-service buffet still. Now for me, this is kind of a mixed bag here a little bit because even prior to the pandemic, you know, you could see people in the buffet doing the wrong thing, touching the food, licking their fingers, touching the bread, different things like that, that had nothing to do with COVID, but were just straight gross. But then COVID came and there was a cruise comment that I read today that I thought I'd share with you guys on this exact subject and what made me think that of asking this question. It says, I am the admin for a big Facebook and roll call group and my members have been discussing the buffet. We have 300 members and we all have the same general thought and everyone agrees with me that Carnival must stop self-service buffets now. All capital letters. It is not the way to go and you are all asking for big trouble with COVID around. My members say the staff serve may cost a little bit less. My members say that staff serve may cost a little bit less. And although it may cause more congestion at peak times, it is what should be done. My members want this changed and to, you know, I try to read these comments, but sometimes it, it's hard to get them out sometimes because my this is actually exactly what it says. My members want this changed and to a staff served buffet, but what you are doing now is just wrong and it is not safe at all. All right, so I think that's supposed to say my members want this changed to a staff served buffet. They got too many letters in there or too many words in there and it should say up here too. My members say that the staff serve may cost a little bit less. I think that means cost a little bit more. But either way, apparently there is this group out there of this large Facebook group of 300 members and every single person agrees with them that Carnival should not do self-service buffet. So that's going to be our question of the day. Should Carnival do self-service buffet or should it be a staff served buffet? at least when it comes to COVID-19. Now, my personal opinion is I like the self-service. I like being able to go up there and get what I want, but I also only use the utensils. I sanitize my hands. I don't touch the food and things like that. I'm conscious of there are other people there and they don't want my germs on their food but you know, not everybody does that because I'm sure we've all seen it at least one time. So when it comes to COVID, I'm not worrying about, I'm not worried about it being a self-service buffet, but a staff served buffet when it comes to some of the disgusting things I have seen people do, I kind of lean that way a little bit. But y'all let me know in the comments below, what do y'all think? self-service or staff service. All right, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. Have yourself a great day and we will see you out on the high seas.